Um, so, so, Riley, let me start with you. What is the goal of this lawsuit? And if you win, who would be impacted? Well, uh, thank you very much for having us on. Uh, the NCAA's most basic job is to protect the fairness and safety of competition in collegiate sport. Uh, but instead, what Reka and I face and what countless other female athletes continue to face at the hands of the NCAA is discrimination against us on the basis of our sex, uh, which is, of course, everything that Title IX was passed to, to prevent from happening. Um, so the NCAA is failing on their most basic duties to provide fair, equal, and safe competition, not just for women, but really for everyone. Uh, and who this would impact, what we are hoping for out of this lawsuit is one, accountability, two, responsibility, and three, for the NCAA to implement Title IX by its original intent. Um, so it would impact every athlete um, who competes at the collegiate level and, of course, future athletes who hope to compete at the collegiate level. In her argument. Riley Gaines contends that the NCAA falls short in its duty to ensure equitable, impartial, and secure athletic competition, particularly for female athletes. This highlights a prevalent trend among institutions where the emphasis on political correctness overshadows competence, potentially compromising the integrity of sports competitions. Instances of prioritizing outcome equality over equal opportunity in legal battles against the NCAA, along with initiatives aimed at closing perceived disparities, may inadvertently undermine individual accomplishments and strengths. The debate surrounding Title IX is scrutinized as the delicate balance between promoting parity and upholding fairness in sports. The implementation of policies to address perceived disparities carries psychological ramifications, requiring a careful balancing act to rectify inequalities while preserving fairness and meritocracy. It's not a matter of opposing equality. Rather, it's recognizing that men and women are inherently different, physically and mentally. Thus, there's a necessity for an even-handed approach that acknowledges the intricacies of narrowing the gender gap in sports while staying true to the principles of fairness and competition, advocating for both equality and meritocracy.